I wish to warn. Preventing sexual violence is first and foremost a responsibility of states. In particular, the security forces, which are often the perpetrators of this grave human rights violation. But prevention is also a collective responsibility. To succeed, we must use all the tools at our disposal. The ministers and other district. Ms. Bangura has stressed the prosecution as a means of prevention. But she has also emphasized the importance of national ownership and leadership, which I fully support. The prosecution support cells in the Democratic Republic of the Congo created by the government with MONUSCO's support are a positive example of combining the two approaches. Other peacekeeping operations intend to carry out a similar project. Representatives present in the Security Council. Today, it is still largely cost-free to rape a woman, child or man in conflict. Sexual violence has been used through the ages precisely because it is so cheap and devastating weapon. We can and must reverse this reality, making it a massive liability to commit, command, or condone sexual violence in conflict. Chamber this morning, your participation. The international community must redouble its efforts to combat the FDLR, along with those who fund and support them wherever they are. It is a broken society that fails to protect its most vulnerable citizens from sexual violence. Its proliferation is a sure sign of state failure. As such, any society hoping to move beyond crisis and conflict cannot hope to do so until it has corrected course with respect to the treatment and prevention of sexual violence is an affirmation of the importance